about um, appropriate dress. <laughs> and as you can see tonight, I'm appropriately dressed. And I'm Robert Burns' representative here tonight. So this is a vote, and I want you to think, if you were in church on Sunday, would you vote for God? I'll just, I'll just hold that thought with you. I'll hold that thought with you. I want you to imagine that um, a fresh-faced 23-year-old, a 23-year-old driving down the M74 in his first ever job working for the global conglomerate Shellmex BP. I'd written the research guide. I had to go and interview truck drivers and people that ran filling stations. I was driving down the A74. I was in a wonderful car, a Triumph TR7, and it was the colour... Frank, could you stand up, please? That's my prop. It was the colour of Frank's jumper. Okay. I remember that colour. I want nice. you to shut your eyes now. We're going to do a bit of Roy Langmaid visualisation. <laughs> shut your eyes. Everybody shut your eyes. I want you to shut your eyes. Come on. I want you to imagine this guy in his Shellmex BP tie, in his suit, driving down the M77 with a Shellmex Sports sticker on the front of his purple TR7, <laughs> arriving into um, a filling station on the M74. He walks into the transport cafe and he realises he now has to interview a random truck driver. You can now open your eyes because you can see that this poor 23 year old was somewhat shocked. So he ordered his breakfast, he thought that was a good thing to do, and he went to sit down beside the truck driver. And he said, excuse me, I'm doing this little research project about what truck drivers are looking for, you know, from filling stations. And as I speak in a very Scottish Edinburgh accent, and not broad Scottish, we didn't get on that well to begin with. But I did recognise eventually what to do with the bread and marge. Because when you get toast and bread and marge, there's always that dilemma, what do you do with the bread and marge? The answer, you dunk it in your beans. Okay? <laughs> Fantastic. So we had a really good interview after I started dunking my beans. Okay? Fantastic. And then I had to go and see filling stations. Now what they sort of forgot to tell me was at that point in Scotland, Margaret Thatcher was in power. Don't you all love Maggie? Hands up. Who loves Maggie? Whoa! Okay, so Maggie was in power and we'd run out of petrol. So I was going to all these filling stations. Hello, I'm from Shell to ask you some questions about diesel fuel. I don't want to speak to you from the fucking Shell. Where's my fucking petrol? So that was a tricky start to the interview. So we got through it and that was fine. So a few weeks ago, I was trying to think about this when I arrived at a footballer's wives house in North London. Because the lesson I learned early on was you've got to dress appropriately, okay? And I said I got that wrong with the tie, the jacket and the lunch stuff. So we knock on the door. Now I'm with the film crew, I'm with two clients from Johnson Johnson to interview this lady about her oral hygiene habits, okay? And we have to conduct a 30 minute interview about her and her lifestyle then we have to interview her and video her brushing her teeth. So it's a pretty relaxing event, really. <laughs> so we knock on the door and it's like one o'clock and uh, she's in a dressing gown. And she's looking pretty hot as well, I have to say. But anyway, so at that point I thought, what do I do? Do I go to the car and get my dressing gown out to make her feel relaxed? Do we, that's option A. Option B, do we reschedule the interview? Or option C, does she invite us in for a coffee? So, who thought we went for option A, which was, I put my dressing gown on and we go to the interview? Hands up? If only. No. Option B, no. we reschedule the interview? No. Option C, she invites us in for a coffee. And yeah. why not? It's She set me up for time. So the moral in that story is, you've always got to dress appropriately for the person you're interviewing. And always carry a dressing gown in your car if you're doing house-to-house -house interviews. And just remember, God is on my side. Okay. Thank you, Robin. Who wants to question that story? Any quick questions? <coughs> One question I got, Robin, oh. is that, that breakfast you had, on the A74, yeah. did that do long-term health damage? <laughs> no, it was great. There's lots of grease. Janet. Do you now have a dressing gown in your car? When you go <laughs> I do! I do! I always have a dressing gown in my car when I go to meetings, just in case. Oh, brilliant.